welcome to the world of online learning. We at GK Online Learning Tutorial provides its subscribers the topics from software engineering, project management, quality management, strategic management, mathematics and other topics. Today's topic is software requirement engineering. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for continuous support. These tools, the benefits, it improves software quality by enforcing discipline, helps communication between develop, development team members, information is illustrat illustrated through diagrams that are typically easier to understand, development information is centralized. Second benefit, reduction of time and effort. Tasks are much faster to complete and alter, enhance reuse of models or models components, can reduce maintenance cost. The other advantages, a special emphasis is placed on redesign as well as testing. The servicing cost of a product over its expected lifetime is considerably reduced. The overall quality of the product is improved as an organized approach is undertaken during the process of development. Chances to meet real world requirements are more likely and easier within a computer aided software engineering approach. Case indirectly provides an organization with a competitive advantage by helping ensure the development of high quality products. Problems, limitations in flexibility of documentation, major danger, completeness and syntactic correctness does not mean compliance with requirements, cost associated with the use of the tools like purchase price and training. The next topic is the categories of case tools. There are generally three categories, tools, workbenches and environments. First, tools. It supports the individual process tasks. Example like checking the consistency of a design, compiling a program, comparison test result. It has three tools uppercase tools like front-end tools. It assists the developer during development, analysis and design, workflows or activities. Lowercase tools, that is back-end tools, assist with implementation, testing and maintenance of workforce as well as activities. And integrated case tools, that is I-case, provide support for the full life cycle. There are different types of case tools, starting with the diagramming tools, it helps in diagrammatic and graphical representation of the data and system processes. It represents the system elements, control flow and data flow among different software components and system structure in a pictorial form. For example, flowchart maker tool for making state of the art flowcharts. Computer display and report generators. It helps in understanding the data requirements and the relationships involved. Analysis tools. It focuses on inconsistent, incorrect specification involved in the diagram and data flow. It helps in collecting requirements automatically check for any irregularity, imprecision in the diagram, data redundancies or erroneous omissions. For example, like accept 360, ACOMBA, case complete for requirement analysis and visible analysis for total analysis. Central repository. It provides the single point of storage for data diagram, reports and documents related to project management. Documentation generators. It helps in generating user and technical documentation as per standards. It creates documents for technical users and end users. Example like Doxygen, Doctor Explain, Adobe, RoboHelp for documentation. Code generators. It aids in the auto generation of code, including definitions, with the help of the designs, documents, and diagrams. Then comes workbench. Collection of tools that together support process workflows. One or two activities where an activity is a related collection of tasks. And commercial examples like 
power builder, software through pictures, software architect. Environment. Support the complete software process or at least a large portion of the software process. Normally include several different workbenches which are integrated in some way. If you are having any queries, please write to me. Thanks for listening. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for continuous support. Thank you.